New at five Republicans at the Capitol are putting some muscle behind a new Senate bill that would exclude transgender high school students from participating in women's sports. It's an election year issue that Governor Kemp has promised to back. 11 Live's Doug Richards is live for us this evening from the Capitol with more. J. Bill, this is a bill that would ostensibly apply equally to men and women, although the Republicans behind this bill uh, say they are doing it, uh, as they put it, to save girls' sports. Supporters of the measure say it strengthens women's sports by excluding transgender athletes who were born male. We uh, separate athletes by uh, categories such as their weight in wrestling, their, their age group, their size, that, that their biological sex is a, is a category which we separate them to make sure that there's parity on the athletic field. The Senate bill introduced this week, called the Save Girls Sports Act, says an athlete's gender means a person's reproductive biology and genetics at birth. Though transgender sports may be less of an issue on the athletic field than it is on conservative news sites, Governor Kemp gave the issue his backing with a brief mention in his State of the State speech. Legislation that I strongly support to ensure fairness in school sports. I feel like these bills are sort of manufacturing um, an issue that really doesn't exist. Jen Slipikoff says her now 14-year-old daughter transitioned around kindergarten and now plays girls lacrosse at a private school. I think that trans kids are already walking through their life feeling like all eyes are on them, feeling like they're different, feeling like they don't belong. And what are we doing? We're enacting a law that literally says you don't belong. <clears throat> the bill isn't law yet, but uh, the bill introduced in the Senate this week has a couple of dozen Republican co-sponsors, uh, as well as we heard as uh, the backing of the governor in an election year.